Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And also welcome to the month of March. As you know, about a month and a half ago, we celebrated the New Year, Chinese New Year,、mm. and of course,、uh, this would be the year of the rabbit. In case you didn't know, so today we're going to celebrate the year of the rabbit with some fun rabbit facts, some information about those long-eared galoots called rabbits. They're cute, but if you've ever had one for a pet, they're a pain.、Uh, they like to chew on everything, and if they find、uh, someone that they can make baby rabbits with, boy, they go to town. They have lots of baby rabbits.、Um, they're sure soft and, and cuddly, but again, they chew everything up that they can get their little teeth on. We're going to find out some more fun facts about rabbits because, as Tom said, it's the year of the rabbit. So let's get started. It's the year of the rabbit. Here are some amazing facts about these cute creatures. There are around 305 breeds of the domestic rabbit species. Before you get pet rabbits, you'll need to decide whether they're kept indoors or outdoors. Their main food should be hay. Rabbits' teeth never stop growing, so chewing hay helps wear down their teeth to normal size. Contrary to popular belief, rabbits should only eat carrots occasionally. They're high in sugar and can contribute to tooth decay. Surprisingly, rabbits even eat cecotropes, which are their own droppings. This helps rabbits absorb essential vitamins their bodies didn't digest the first time. Rabbits' characteristic long ears not only give them excellent hearing, but also help them stay cool. They can rotate their ears 270 degrees to determine a sound's exact location. They can't sweat. So the large surface area of their ears helps them regulate their temperature. Rabbits also have amazing vision; they can see nearly 360 degrees around them. Rabbits are social animals, so it's best to get a pair of them as pets. However, please spay and neuter them if you get a male and a female. A fertile pair of rabbits could multiply to hundreds of rabbits in a single year. This is why we use the expression "breeding like rabbits" to describe living things that multiply quickly. Okay, guys, let's get started. We're going to celebrate the year of the rabbit this year, as you all know. Actually, we've already started celebrating the year of the rabbit,、mm. but、uh, it's one of the Chinese zodiac animals. The signs of rabbit, you know, if you're born in a, t- a particular year, if this is your Animal that you associate with. I was reading up on what rabbits are described as being, and I guess they're、uh, very determined. They work hard. They're witty, which means they're smart, but it. They're smart with a funny sense of humor.、Um, there are people who are funny that aren't witty, and there are people that are smart that aren't funny or witty. But witty is a combination of being smart and funny. Quick-minded, they think quickly. Come up with some great ideas. They're ingenious, and if you're、uh, if you're if you're born in the year of the rabbit, your compatible zodiac animals would be goats, dogs, and pigs. Uh, exactly. So I guess this word、uh, is from Old French, and that's why we have this word rabbit. Although I don't know what the French call this particular animal, but in any case, here rabbits are quite common animals, and、They、of course, eat them. Yeah.、Uh, people eat them as well. You need to bash them over the head first, Ooh, or something. Then、stop. you skin them and <laughs> and you、uh, chop them up and stuff <laughs> like that.、Uh, if you eat rabbits, some people keep them as pets. But in any case,、uh, I did want to mention some uh, famous uh, rabbit. Car- Cartoon characters, at least one you know, of course. And what's up, Doc? Bugs Bunny. Okay, so here we go. It's、yeah. the year of the rabbit, and here are some amazing facts about these cute creatures. A creature, of course, is a living thing. I guess sometimes you could also refer to an animal as a critter. C R I T T E R, critter. And there are around 305 breeds of the domestic rabbit species. I did not know that myself, but I'm not surprised because there often are lots of different kinds of animals. 
that、uh, we take for granted every day. Well, that's a lot of breeds of different types of rabbits. A breed is just、um, one species that can、uh, have babies with another. Sometimes they take different breeds and they they put them together. Uh, to to come up with a new breed, which is kind of creepy sometimes, but anyway, yeah,、uh, there are a lot of breeds of the domestic rabbit species.、Uh, there are even more wild ones that we don't even count here. So if it's domestic, it's something that's been taken in from the wild and is now living in homes, and they're around humans. So before you get pet rabbits, which are very popular. Out there, you'll need to decide whether they're kept indoors or outdoors. I would say keep them outdoors because they chew up everything. My sister had one with her kids when they were young, and oh, the kids love that rabbit. But my my sister couldn't take it, couldn't stand it because it kept chewing up everything. But、uh, they kept theirs indoors. But you might want to decide, you know, where you want to keep your animals. If it had been at my house growing up, my mother believed that animals. We're kept outside.、Always. Okay, fair <laughs> enough, and that's something you need to decide if you're going to have a pet rabbit. Yeah,、uh, you need to decide whether they're kept indoors or outdoors. So here we've got the word "weather," which is used when you talk about one or something else.、Mm. Uh, you need to decide whether you're going to eat rice or noodles for dinner today, or whether you're going to go hiking, or whether you're going to stay home. And here you need to to decide whether you want to keep that rabbit. Rabbit outdoors or indoors. Of course, a lot of people here in Taiwan live in apartments, so you might just have to have it indoors if you choose to have a rabbit as a pet. Now, their main food should be hay. You may not know what hay is, but basically, hay is well, it could be dried grass, but、uh-huh. uh, to me, it's always、uh, the stuff that's dried after harvest in the fall. If they harvest wheat or corn, then the leftover plant dries, and then it. Becomes hay. Yeah, hay is often used to feed、uh, horses and cows. If you、uh, live on a farm, you know what those、uh, bundles of hay are. Bales of hay is what we call them. Officially, the the measure word would be bale. A bale of hay, b a l e.、Um, but yeah, you、uh, you can feed rabbits hay. I didn't know this. I thought that rabbits. I think my sister bought rabbit food from the pet store. But if you're going to feed them,、uh, you know, natural things, you might get some hay. Everyone thinks that rabbits eat carrots. We're going to talk about that in a minute. It says here their main food should be hay. Why? Because rabbits' teeth never stop growing. This was a fun fact I learned today. So chewing hay helps wear down their teeth to normal size. Yeah, you won't, you won't, don't want, you don't want to get teeth that are too long. When you chew something, you put something into your mouth and you move your jaw and teeth back and forth to、uh, get whatever foods in your mouth into smaller pieces. You so you can then swallow it. So chewing hay helps their teeth not grow so long because I guess they get. Really long.、Uh, exactly. I think there's another animal out there that has the same problem.、Oh. If you don't wear down the teeth, the teeth keep growing. I think the animal I'm thinking about has teeth that are curved,、Ooh. and if they keep growing, they'll actually pierce the animal's head, and it will die that way. Yikes! I don't know if that if that happens to rabbits, but they do need to keep on chewing because that wears down their teeth, and their teeth will remain. Normal in size, they won't be too big.、Mm-hmm. Now, contrary to popular belief, rabbits should only eat carrots occasionally. So, if you've ever seen Bugs Bunny, you know that he likes carrots. But that's probably some misinformation because rabbits don't eat carrots as part of their regular diet. They're going to eat hay and maybe rabbit food that you buy in the pet store. But they should only eat carrots once in a while.、Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe you could treat a rabbit to a carrot. Once in a while, but not every day, not for every meal. Right. So here it says, contrary to popular belief. So contrary is a very、uh, useful vocabulary word. It's part of our words here today, and you'll often hear us talk about things that are、uh, contrary to each other, just meaning they're the opposite. They're opposed to each other.、Uh, contrary to popular belief is a very popular phrase. So you could also say, on the contrary. 
Or if you really want to have fun and sound、uh, like you're very、uh, well educated in languages, you could say "au contraire," which、mm. is French, and it means the same thing. "Au contraire." You'll see it actually and hear it in movies, TV shows, and in books you read. It's spelled differently. It's a u c o n t r. A I R E, au contraire,、uh, just kind of fun. But on the contrary, is another phrase we use just to say, no, you know, this might be true, but let me show you the opposite、uh, viewpoint. We often use it when we're talking about opinions and beliefs that we have, or things that are very contradictory to each other. But in any case, here, contrary to popular belief, rabbits should only eat carrots. Occasionally, and they're high in sugar and can contribute to tooth decay. This, of course, is talking about carrots. And if they have a lot of sugar, that means they can cause tooth decay, which is a problem because then rabbits could get cavities, and they would have to go see the rabbit dentist. Ooh, yeah. Good luck finding a rabbit dentist. Actually, if you're a vet out there listening, you probably make quite a bit of money off、uh, people's different types of pets and their. Diseases and conditions. So here it says,、uh, surprisingly, rabbits eat, even eat something we're calling cecotropes.、Uh, Tom and I were laughing about this word earlier because we didn't know what it was,、mm. um, and then we looked it up, and it actually just means rabbit poop. Uh, poop that they、uh, have in their bodies. You can also call、uh, birds and particular animals that、uh, have poop that drops out、uh, droppings. Typically, we'll use it with birds, or mostly birds, right, and rabbits.、Mm. Or sometimes, if you have a mouse in your apartment, you might see little droppings along、uh, where they've been running around. You don't want to see those. You know, you have a mouse in your house or a rat, even worse. So these cecotropes、um, are eaten by the rabbits themselves, who actually、um, just go to poop and then they go around and eat them. Kind of creepy, kind of gross. I'm glad we don't do that. Yep, kind of gross, kind of disgusting, but、uh, they do it for a reason.、Uh, eating their own feces helps rabbits absorb essential vitamins. Their bodies didn't digest the first time,、mm. so I guess、uh, they tried one time. It didn't quite work, so they eat the feces again to get the job right the second time. Okay, <laughs> that brings us to the midway point in our lesson for today. Let's take a break now and listen to our Chinese teacher. 听众朋友，大家好，我是安娜。今年是兔年，但是说真的，你了解兔子吗？我们都知道兔子眼睛红红的吃胡萝卜，但是真的是这样吗？今天这个文章很有趣哦。不过我们设计成刻漏字，所以我们现在先来看一下兔子。兔子其实兔子有好多种哎，直接我们看到第二段第一句的地方。其实啊，像我们一般会养的家兔啊，这种 domestic rabbit， 这种家兔的品种差不多有三百零五种那么多。好，但是在第二段第一句啊，有两个很重要的单字。第一个单字是最后面这个 species， 首先它单复数同形 ，one species two species， 它就是所谓的品种。可是这个 species 下面其实包括有不同的其他的 breed， 就在。第一句中间这里的 b r e e d， 所以像兔子的话呢，我们说家兔 domestic 这种 species 里面其实就有包括不同的 breed， 诸如兔啊、海棠兔啊、狮子兔啊、垂耳兔啊等等之类的。好，那当然就是说呢，我们刚刚讲到的兔子到底吃什么？其实它们主要食物是干草。哎，同样在第二段第二句、第三句这个地方，最后一个字 hay h a y， 为什么要吃干草呢？因为兔子的牙齿其实它会一直不断的生长，所以咀嚼干草啊 ，chewing hay 这件事情。就可以帮助牙齿磨损到正常的大小。好，所以接下来这个第二段第四句就很重要喽，因为出现我们第一题到底要用哪个动词片语？我们看到要磨牙齿磨到 normal size， 所以第一题根据文艺的话要选 C 这个答案。那我们刚刚特别说啦，兔子不就是胡萝卜吗？可是不是哦，在第五句特别提到跟大家所想法不同的。第五句的一开始 ，contrary to 就已经暗示了第二题的答案。再加上第五句当中有一个 only 只吃什么东西，只吃
，哎，如果只吃胡萝卜，是什么时候吃呢？就偶尔吃一下，主要还是吃甘草的话，在第二题当然会用一个频率副词，偶尔 ，occasionally， sometimes， a 这个答案。那为什么兔子不能常常吃胡萝卜啊？因为胡萝卜的含糖量很高，会导致蛀牙。对，没有错，动物也是会蛀牙的。<笑>不过令人很惊讶的是啊，兔子甚至还会吃一种东西，就叫做盲肠便。同样在第二段第七句的地方，我们特别注意逗点前面这个字叫做 s e c r e t r o p e s e c r e t r o p e 是盲肠便。盲肠便什么东西我们都不知道。可其实，在英文文章当中，如果会突然呢出现一个比较专业的单字，通常都会有逗点 which 在补充说明的非限定用法关系子句。所以这个盲肠便 s e c r e t r o p e 后面的逗点的 which 其实就是他们自己的粪便啦。好，那这个粪便要做什么用呢？接下来，我们第八句就看到第三题，因为文章已经告诉我们了，要吃下这个盲肠便，这帮助兔子怎样 essential vitamins。不过第八句这个地方有一个关系词省略的限定用法关系子句，先行词是 essential vitamins， 后面的 there 到句尾是省略了前面的 which 或者是 that。所以在这个关系词句当中，已经告诉你，在第一次的 first time 没有 digest 没有消化的那些必要维生素。所以第三题，我们在这里看到答案就要选 B absorb， 要去吸收这些维他命喽。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. We're going to continue talking about rabbits. We've got some fun rabbit facts, <laughs> and we just mentioned a couple. You should feed them hay. Don't feed them carrots too often. And they actually eat their own feces, which is called cecotropes. I wouldn't、uh, remember that word unless、uh, you need to talk to your veterinarian about rabbits. Most people do not use this word in everyday conversation. And of course,、uh, they eat their own feces for a reason because hey. Their digestive system didn't digest the food right the first time, so they need to try again. Now, here in the next paragraph, it says rabbits' characteristic long ears not only give them excellent hearing but also help them stay cool. So here we've got the word characteristic, and that's the special thing that a person or an animal has that makes that person or thing unique. Like a characteristic of moose are their antlers. If you know what、mm, I'm talking about, they、yeah. got those big things growing out of their heads. That is characteristic of a moose. Right, or I could say、uh, a characteristic of Taiwan's weather. Or climate would be the humidity that it has all year round.、Uh, I remember when I first got here, I thought, "Wow, it's so humid! I never have to use lotion for my hands." I grew up in the desert, and if you didn't have lotion in your purse, you would just go crazy. It's so dry.、Mm. But、uh, yeah, that's one of the characteristics of Taiwan. You can use it to talk about anything that's a feature or a quality. That's something you, that is unique to a person, a place, or、uh, something you're talking about. So yeah, they are well known for their long ears. I think their ears are really cute, and it gives them excellent hearing. But it also helps them stay cool, which is another fun fact I'd never heard before. They can rotate or turn their ears. 270 degrees to determine a sound's exact location. That's like having radar, you、mm. know, <laughs> little antennas on top of their head. Kind of cool. They can't sweat. So this is a problem in Arizona. It's too hot for rabbits to live outside. So my sister had to bring it inside. They can't sweat, so the large surface area of those ears helps them regulate their temperature. If you regulate something, you control it. You can regulate the temperature on your air conditioner, your heater.、Um, you can regulate how much、uh, food is brought into your country through import.、Uh, you can regulate a lot of things. The government or the law will often regulate things, control things, so they don't get out of hand, don't go, you know, crazy. 
Right. I suppose that makes them feel cooler in summer, but I guess they have to sort of hide their ears away if it's in the middle of winter and they want to warm up. And also, rabbits have amazing vision,、mm. which is your ability to see. They can see nearly 360 degrees around them,、wow. just like owls can、yeah. turn their heads around.、Uh, rabbits they don't really need to because they've got their eyes on the sides of their heads. So yes, indeed, they can see both front and back at the same time. Now, here in the final paragraph, it says rabbits are social animals, so it's best to get a pair of them as pets. Uh, you may have noticed this、uh, with other animals as well. If you have a cat, for example, cats appreciate having a buddy in the house as long as they get a, get along with each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. And the same goes for dogs. And rabbits, of course, are social animals. If you only have one rabbit, oh, that rabbit is going to feel very lonely. And then they really start chewing on things. Right. Sure, you can be nice to the rabbit and <laughs> hey, hey, Floppy, how you doing today? Would you like to go play in the garden?、Uh, that's all fine and. Good, but rabbits still need to be around their own kind. So yes, you should probably get a pair of them as pets,、mm-hmm. and you could probably. I guess you should probably get、uh, one male and another male, or one female、don't, and another female. Don't get a couple that can have babies together, because boy, they'll, they'll go to town. Now, go to town is just an expression to mean they get busy doing whatever.、Uh, you could go to town shopping, which means you just go out there and buy as much as you can.、Uh, Tom mentioned a cute name for a rabbit that's often given to rabbits in America, and that's floppy, because、mm-hmm. their ears are very floppy. If something flops, it just doesn't. Uh, uh, it's not very straight and firm. It's kind of、uh, soft and hangs down. So their ears can be floppy. Puppies have floppy ears. A lot of them. So that's a. a f- A favorite name for a rabbit, if you're looking for one. It says here, though, as Tom said, better get two boys or two girls so they can't have、uh, baby rabbits running around. You need to either spay or neuter them if you do indeed get a couple, a male and a female. To spay an animal just means to sterilize a female of that particular animal species.、Uh, we we talk about them getting or being spayed. Um, S P A Y E D, or if you get neutered, of course you're sterilizing the male、uh, version of that particular animal, whatever you're talking about. Right. These terms are often used together. Please have your pets spayed or neutered,、mm. uh, so they don't uh, reproduce. Uh, this is a problem with stray animals like dogs and cats. Of course, they keep reproducing, and you never get rid of those stray animals as a result. So yes, if you have rabbits that are different genders, then spay and neuter them to prevent them from having more babies.、Mm. And a fertile pair of rabbits could multiply to hundreds of rabbits. In a single year. Wow! So if something's fertile, that means they're able to reproduce.、Uh, your land could be fertile, for example, if you put fertilizer in it.、Mm-hmm. And if the rabbits are able to reproduce, then we say they're fertile. Although we don't use this term to apply to humans,、uh, we describe that a different way. But if the rabbits are able to reproduce, if the male's sperm is good enough and the female has、uh, eggs that are good, then they are fertile. And yes, indeed, if you let them at each other, they could multiply to hundreds of rabbits in a single year. To multiply just means to increase in number.、Uh, you multiply things like two times two equals four, four times four equals sixteen. You are multiplying those numbers. Or if you were using it as an adjective, you might say,、uh, "My friend was in a car accident and had multiple injuries. They had several injuries, more than two.、Uh, several is usually two or three, but multiple would be more than that.、Uh, they must not have to、uh, be pregnant for very long if they can <laughs> come up with a hundred rabbits within a year. That's kind of crazy. But yeah,、uh, be careful with that. That's one of the things you really have to."、Uh, Pay attention to if you're a pet owner. Be responsible. This is why we use the expression "breeding like rabbits." Oh, they're breeding like rabbits.、Uh, there was a couple、um, who lived on my street, and they had, I think, twelve kids, and they were they were always having kids, kids, kids. And someone just made that kind of joke. Oh, they breed like rabbits over there.、Mm. They just had a lot of kids, and they had. 
they had good kids though. They were really nice kids. Anyway, nice Catholic family I remember growing up with.、Okay. So anyway, you can use that expression if you have an animal、uh, that's having lots of babies, or if you know a couple that you think is、uh, ha- they're having quite a few kids. You could use that expression. They they are breeding or they breed like rabbits. And it is the year of the rabbit. So if you want to learn more about rabbits, you can do some research yourself. But we did touch on a few things here. And that brings us to the end of our discussion. Let's turn things over now to our Chinese teacher. 接着我们就来看啊，兔子还有很长的耳朵嘛。除了这个红眼睛之外，那这耳朵有什么样特色呢？在第三段第一句，特别说到这个耳朵其实让它们有很出色的听力，但除此之外，还可以让它们保持凉爽。不过在这里第一句有看到一个特殊句型，我们可以特别把它抓出来。Not only but also， 不止 A。而且 ，b 这个对等连接词片语，他们会连接词性相同的字、词，甚至或者是句子。那这些耳朵呢？兔子耳朵可以旋转两百七十度，哎，这样就可以确定声音准确的位置。在第二句当中，这个动词的 rotate， 其实它是自转的意思啦。R O T A T E， 像我们常会这个门呐、啊，有自动门呐、啊、旋转门呐、啊、木门呐、啊，这种旋转门就叫做 rotating door。好，那接下来我们看一下，为什么耳朵还可以保持凉爽呢？因为其实兔子没有办法排汗，所以耳朵这个大面积就可以让它们调节体温。接下来第二段的第三句就是我们的第四题。我们根据因果的关系，发现这里应该选 A 的 so， 因为没有办法 sweat 流汗，所以大面积的耳朵就可以帮助调节体温。可是你可能会问，那 B 为什么不能选呢 ？B 逗点后面的 which 来，如果你想要选这个 which 的话，首先。会取前面就要有先行词，逗点前面的 sweat 是一个动词，所以这个你如果选下去的话，没有先行词的关系子句，这是很奇怪的。好，你可能英文厉害一点会问说，好，那我们的会取不是可以代替逗点前面的一整句话吗？如果你觉得是这个答案的话，那么在这种非限定用法关系子句当中，逗点之后的会取还是会作为。关系子句的主词或受词，可是我们会发现第四句后面句子是很完整的。The large surface area of the air， blah 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 blah， 主词、受词都没有缺，所以第四格它很单纯，只是考你因果关系，答案选 A。好，接着我们就要看第三段喽。其实兔子啊是 social animals， 跟人一样都是群居的，所以如果真的要养的话，最好养一对。可是如果你真的养一只公的、一只母的，拜托一定要帮他们绝育啊！出现在第二段，这边有动词 spay、neuter， 都是绝育的意思。如果特别说要把公的动物绝育掉的话，可以用另外一个动词叫做 castrate，c a s t r a t e。好，最后我们来看一下第五题喽。为什么要绝育呢？因为有一对什么样的兔子，它一年就可以生好几百只兔子啊！所以当然，这一对兔子的特征就是第五题低的答案 fertile。如果他们会生的话，可以生这么多哎。最后我们说这个生呐、啊，看到的动词叫做 multiply。multiply 其实就有。加倍、繁殖的意思。可如果你说“生”，其实在英文当中有其他动词，除了我们的品种的 “breed” 这个字 ，b r e e d， 它可以当动词，另外也可以用 “reproduce”，r e p r o d u c e。以上是我们今天的内容。我是安娜，我们下次见。That's it, guys. Thanks for joining us. We'll have to、uh, sign off now, but we hope you'll join us for our next program for English Digest. I'm Stephanie. I'm Tom. Goodbye. Bye bye.